Okay, so I've had some questions about uh, doing customization of, say, window sizing and things like that on Cool Calc. So I thought I'd do a little example here to show you how it's done. So I have a new project set up and I will uh, go ahead and get started and show you what to do here. So we'll go through and just add uh, our default walls and everything as we typically would do and as I've shown in other videos. Just going to pretty much make everything default here. So we'll do the map trace option and show you how to customize in this we'll name our tracing first floor eight feet above ground Zoom in on the house here so you can see. And then we'll go ahead and trace it out. On this house, this end here is actually a garage, so I won't trace all the way over. And uh, we'll save that at this point. So once you save it, this is where you add your customization of windows. Um, and you could change the wall types and stuff. So um, we'll show you the windows at first. I know this wall here. It has no windows and it has one door. So we'll go in and we have to actually add the door. This is the front door. Type in uh, width and height. Um, there's no glass. Uh, so then I'll show you how we can change this wall type to a uh, partition wall. So we'll go back to our construct construction features, add a different type. So we'll call this garage partition. Framed wall, wood, two by four, save. So then go back to our data source. Oh, dimensions is where we have to go. Sorry about that. So then we can change this wall type to the garage partition. <laughs> 
save it. All right, and so then we can also change window sizes. So instead of um, instead of choosing the low, medium, or high, which just use a percentage of the wall surface, we can use uh, custom. We can uh, just give it a window name of um, entry window. Say it's 12 inches by 60 inches. It's the default type um, you can choose whether there's insect screen uh, internal shading your overhang calculations so in this instance our overhangs are 12 inches and it's 12 inches from the top of the window and we'll save that Looks like uh, for some reason it's not uh, deleting out the old windows, but for the most part this is the screen or the way you would go about adding your windows and changing any sizes. So it's all done in this dimensions tab. Once you've saved your trace, you can click on the models. If you use these little uh, icons on the right, you can switch between uh, changing the ceiling, floor, walls, or you can edit um, the shape. So, um, Pretty much that's how you do any customizations when you're using the map trace feature. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe.